Hello and welcome to my introductory video to the Old Frame Cube. The Old Frame Cube is a project that I started about five years ago and it started as a sidekick to my main cube projects. But it really turned out uh, to be an interesting way to play Magic and soon became my main cube. And I ditched my regular cube because it turned out that it was just the one millionth copy of playing the best magic cards there are. And uh, yeah, the old frame cube was really more interesting to tinker around with. And um, yeah, the limitation is, as the name uh, suggests, that I use only old frame cards. So it is uh, home for all the old cards that fell to power creep in the past years or decades. There is some loopholes which make this um, cube building really interesting. Um, first, there are some promo cards, modern cards that use the old frame, such as uh, Dark Confident, Noble Hierarch, Swords of X and Y, Crucible of Worlds, stuff like that. So they were judge promos appearing in the old frame in foil. So my limitation is not old cards, but old frame cards, so I can use them. And the second loophole that is opening up at the moment is um, Time Sparrow Remastered, which has been recently announced and will feature a subset um, with um, old frame reprints of modern cards. So I expect Time Sparrow to make huge impact on this cube. And so it is now high time to present the general idea of the cube so I can then present Time Sparrow Remastered spoilers on the background of my cube when they appear. So let me briefly walk you through the colors and ideas of my cube. So general remark, many modern ideas and many archetypes you know from modern day cubes, such as Black Red Threat and Sacrifice, don't have enough old cards for a singleton cube theme. So I think there is two Threaten effects with the old frame, maybe three or four if you count in some blue spells that do this. So this is simply not enough to build an archetype around. So we have to dwell in general on a very limited environment, parts of which, however, can be very powerful. So let's start with the land base. The land base is almost like in every cube, as duels and fetches are available. But of course, there is only two times five friendly colored fetches. So the onslaught ones and the mirage ones and the enemy colored fetches only appeared in Zendikar for the first time. So we don't have them here. This is a drawback in terms of mana base, but it still works. And we have enough other duels like pain lands and filter lands to provide enough fixing. There is very strong utility lands and rainbow lands such as Tolaran Academy, Strip Mine, Bazaar, City of Brass, City of Traitors and stuff like that. So there is really, um, the power level of the land base is really high and um, makes every color combination and many more archetypes viable in this cube. Artifacts provide the most literal power of this cube um, because it uses power. And this makes it feel like a vintage cube, but with a um, limitation that you only get to cast Verdant Forces and not Eldrazi. Well, of course, you can cast other artifacts and broken stuff, but really Verdant Force and Acroma are the biggest creatures there are. So, um, okay, there is Colossus of Zardia, but I don't run it. But you don't get to do things like turn one Lotus Channel Emrakul or something like that. Um, it's um, The mana is insane in this cube, but the payoff is uh, rather moderate, which is cool because um, this makes um, games go longer and be more interesting. And um, yeah, apart from that, artifacts do other things besides mana. So there is some really surprisingly good creatures compared to the general power level of these cards, so as Suchi, which is basically a four mana for four with a upside text, which used to be a downside text in times when there was mana burn, but we don't play with the old rules, uh, which would be an option, but um, playing with a new rule simply makes it a very solid beat stick creature. And there is also the aforementioned judge versions of Crucible of Worlds and Swords of X and Y, which provide depth to a, to a 
great number of archetypes. So artifacts are not only good for ramp and power combo stuff, but also for aggressive strategies, providing colorless filler creatures and good equipment. And equipment, as a side remark, there is no equipment in the olden times. So in equipments were introduced with Mirrodin. So these three swords are at the moment the only equipments that are available for my cube. Blue um, has the rest of the power nine and unsurprisingly this makes blue a very strong color. Um, I do not run the time twister in my cube so it's rather a power eight cube. And um, yeah, but um, the mere fact that some power pieces are blue uh, reveals how strong blue is as a color. And this is not only due to the power cards, but blue has also the counter magic and very strong spells like upheaval, treachery, bribery, and strong creatures like Morphling, Zerendip, Ifrit. And um, this would make blue the most broken color of all times in this cube. But the drawback of blue being that creature count, creature depth is rather low. So there is some 20 creatures which are really good, but then, yeah. So I opted to give blue simply less, uh, lesser creatures than um, the other colors. So blue has the capability of being a strong combo color in combination with artifacts on its own, but for other strategies such as control or tempo, it needs support from other colors. And one uh, mentioning, I think, Upheaval is actually the most powerful spell in the cube. The fact that there is cheap power artifact mana available makes it very easy to set up mana overload situations where you cast Upheaval, return everything to hand, and then be able yourself to recast your mana stones, which can recast more mana stones. So Upheaval is probably the most broken spell there is in this cube setup with power mana. Black also offers some goodies. So iconic cards like Demonic Tutor or Vampiric Tutor and Disruption stuff, Reanimator stuff, Removal, Card Draw and also a surprising amount of aggressive creatures. So the Judd reprints of Dark Confident and the Swords really give aggro and especially Black aggro an edge against the power madness things that one can do in this old frame cube. And um, yeah. At the moment I run a strong zombie theme in the creature base because I tinkered around a bit to um, test how good tribes are and zombies are quite fine actually. And many of the good um, aggressive black creatures happen to be zombies, but there is actually design space to one could opt against zombies for other creatures, which um, could be a tribeless aggro theme. White is an interesting and a difficult color in this cube, at least um, for me as the cube builder, it's a difficult color. So it has a bunch of the most impactful spells in magic history, like Wrath of God, Armageddon, Balance. But after that, we quickly come to fillers. So there are strong creatures like Exalted Angel, cool creatures like Thera Angel and Savannah Lines, and lots of soldiers which form a big tribe. But I have to really run five to ten cards in white that are really awkward. So I'm really hoping for Time Sparrow to give some upgrades here. Of course, white also has um, strong spot removal spells, at least a handful of that, speaking of Swords to Plowshares or Exile, Radiance, Judgment. But yeah, in general, um, I find it easy to find the first 60 to 70 cards in white that I want to include in this cube, but then it really gets a bit awkward. So um, you will see this if you browse my cube list. There are some creatures which you wouldn't expect and which I am not happy with, but I don't have a choice at the moment. Red has lots of good cards, but it is also the most redundant color in this cube, which means that it is not that spectacular from a design perspective, because it has simply lots of goblins and lots of burn. There is probably two handful of also big red and control red cards, but I chose red to be the driving force of aggro decks in this format. So the focus is on fast cards and we need a lot of good burn spells um, to make um, aggro decks in general quick enough when they want to tap on red. Green is maybe the most diverse of old colors. In the olden days offering everything except creature removal. So the concept of fight spells came up later in magic history. So green doesn't do that 
but uh, it can basically do everything else. In this cube there is RAM in all facets, so um, elves and sorcery RAM spells and uh, fat creatures to reward the ramping and um, also a lot of combos reside in green, so natural order plus mana elf plus green fatty for example if you want to call this a combo, squee vival, so survival of the fittest with a squee goblin nabob which provides infinite supply of creatures, or nigh infinite supply. Earthcraft and Squirrel Net being a real combo which provides 1 million of tapped squirrels, which can overrun the next turn. And um, the Fast Bond Zuron Orb Crucible combo, which is possible due to Crucible of Worlds, which provides infinite mana and uh, infinite life. So there is lots of death in green that... Um, can be tapped on. The hardest part is about green is actually to limit oneself to about 80 cards that form archetypes. So green is sort of the opposite to white. There is uh, much more options of sweet decks that one could put in this cube uh, than there is space for. Finally, there is multicolor, but not much. Um, uh, multicolor used to be really something special back in the days. So most cards in my multicolor segment are powerful and flavorful but do not strongly support archetypes. So Vindicate, for example, is uh, simply a very good removal spell, or Pernicious Deed is a very good mass removal card, but there's not really an, an archetype that really centers on these cards. It's just flavorful additions to um, yeah, improve your deck when you are in the right color combinations, or have the mana fixing to splash them or whatever. So that was the walkthrough through my idea of this old frame cube. You can check and play a test my list on Cube Cobra. The link is in the description. We also do regular online drafts via the Blue Salt Foyable Discord. So just give me a text if you want to join and try this cube. Thank you for watching and see you next time.